गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ करेंट अफेयर्स आई होप आपको हम लोग का प्रीवियस करेंट अफेयर्स क्लास पसंद आया होगा आपने वो नहीं देखा है तो प्लीज इस क्लास के बाद चेकआउट कीजिए लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में है और अगर आपने अभी तक चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किए हैं तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कीजिए न्यू अपकमिंग वीडियोज के लिए तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं Our first question for today is who has been named the COP26 People's Advocate Options are A Sir David Attenborough Option B David Malpass Option C Dr Kristalina Georgieva or Option D Christine Lagarde And the correct answer is option A Sir David Attenborough Conversationalist broadcaster and historian sir david attenborough has been named as the people's advocate for the cop26 of un climate change summit to be held under the uk presidency in partnership with italy the summit is to be held this year in glasgow he has been assigned the task to highlight the actions decision makers will need to take ahead of and at cop26 and to integrate all the climate related agendas of the participating nations moving on to the next which state recently conducted monkey census using the mobile application designed by the wildlife institute of india wii and the options are a gujarat option b haryana option c rajasthan and option d west bengal and the correct answer is option b haryana haryana conducted a 3 day monkey census as a part of a larger wildlife census for haryana 2021 over 600 people throughout haryana participated in monkey census and documented approximately 6000 monkeys on a mobile application by the wildlife institute of india titled wildlife census haryana kvk of which state has for the first time introduced hydrogel capsules for soil conversation options are a tamil nadu b kerala c karnataka and d maharashtra and the correct answer is option b kerala the krishi vigyan kendra in palakkad of kerala state had for the first time introduced hydrogel capsules a year ago this is made from biodegradable starch gel which holds water up to 400 times its weight the gel releases water in the soil and helps to retain soil moisture the capsule developed by icar has become very popular now in the state and the kvk has registered a sale of around 3 to 4 lakh capsules The next question for today is India recently held a financial dialogue with which country for collaboration in IFCA NIIF and cross border financial services options are a Switzerland option b Brazil option c Sweden and option d France and the correct answer is option a Switzerland The fourth India Swiss financial dialogue was organized in a virtual manner and was attended by top level financial delegates of the two nations. India delegation was led by the Secretary Economic Affairs Ajay Seth while his counterpart was Mr Daniel Stoffel State Secretary for International Finance. both the delegation shared 
lived experiences on aspects including investments international financial services center authority etc now on to the next question which rating agency has revised india's gross domestic product gdp growth forecast financial year 2021 to 2022 to 9.3 percent from 13.7 percent options are india's rating sbi snp and the last option is moody's and the correct answer is option d moody's the rating agency moody's has revised india's gross domestic product gdp growth forecast from 13.7% to 9.3% for the financial year 2021 to 2022 the downgrade is on account of second wave of covid infections across india and associated lockdowns imposed by many states to curb the infection rates the next question is which state has launched the maharashtra dular yojana scheme options are a uttarakhand option b uttar pradesh option c odisha and option d chatisgarh and the correct answer is option d chatisgarh the state government of chatisgarh has launched the scheme named chatisgarh maharashtra dular yojana under this scheme the state would be at the education expenses of the children who have lost parents to covid-19 a stipend of rupees 500 per month will be paid to such children who are studying in class 1 to 8 and rupees 1000 per month for classes 9 to 12 this scheme is applicable for children studying in both government and private schools coming on to the next question which institution has set up a dedicated portal covid aid to track aid coming from individual organizations options are supreme court of india icmr give india foundation and the last option is niti ayog and the correct answer for this question is option d niti ayog the niti ayog has set up a dedicated portal named covid to track all aid coming via missions or by individual organizations with a detailed sop standard operating procedure at present there are three channels for receiving aid government to government routed via the ministry of external affairs to the health ministry private to government through covid portal and donation through states ngos and cso coming up next question can one one which has successfully landed on mars was launched by which country options are a usa b uae c north korea and d china and the correct answer for this question is option d china the chinese spacecraft named tianwen 1 has successfully landed on the mars planet this makes china the second country after the usa to land its rover on the red the landing has been confirmed by the china national space administration cnsa and has stated that the spacecraft has landed on ethiopia which is a larger plane in the northern hemisphere of mars let's take a look at the next question with the commissioning of wifi at hazari bagh railway station dharkand Indian Railways successfully established Wi-Fi at dash stations. Options are 
ए फाइव हंड्रेड बी थाउजेंड सी सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड डी टेन थाउजेंड एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी सिक्स थाउजेंड विद द कमिशनिंग ऑफ वाई फाई एट हजारीबाग टाउन झारखंड इन धनबाद डिविजन ऑफ ईस्ट सेंट्रल रेलवे इंडियन रेलवे कमीशन वाई फाई एट सिक्स थाउजेंड रेलवे स्टेशन एज ऑन मे फिफ्टीन इंडियन रेलवे एक्सटेंडेड वाई फाई फेसिलिटी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन मुंबई रेलवे स्टेशन इन जनवरी ट्वेंटी इट रीच फाइव थाउजेंड रेलवे स्टेशन एट मिदनापुर वेस्ट बेंगाल एंड रीच Six thousand railway stations in Hazaribagh, Jharkhand. The next question is, which state, the Indian organic state in the country, celebrates its state food day on May sixteen? Options are A. Assam, B. Sikkim, C. Manipur, and D. Meghalaya. And the correct answer is option B. Sikkim. Sikkim celebrates its state food day on May 16th. It marks the day in 1975 when Sikkim was made the 22nd state of India from being a monarchy earlier. Sikkim is the least populous and second smallest among the Indian states. It also became the first state in India to achieve complete organic agriculture production. Let's look at the eleventh question. NATO has launched joint military exercise named "Defend Europe 2021" in which country? Options are A. USA, B. Albania, C. Croatia, and D. North Macedonia. And the correct answer is option B. Albania. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization (NATO) has launched. Joint military exercise named "Defend Europe 2021" in Albania. This is the first such large-scale exercise in the Western Balkan region since the World War II. Thousands of military forces from the United States and other countries will participate in the exercise. "Defend Europe" is an annual large-scale U.S. Army-led multinational exercise. Guys. If you like our videos then please motivate us by hitting the like button and subscribe our channel so that we can bring more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates from the back benches Let's look at the next question Mongolian Kanjur is an important religious text of which religion options are A Sikhism, B Buddhism, C Jainism, and D Islam. And the correct answer is option B Buddhism. Mongolian Kanjur, the Buddhist text in 108 volumes, is considered to be the most important religious text in Mongolia. A meeting of the Minister of State for Culture and Tourism, Pralad Singh Patel, with the Mongolian Minister of Culture, was held in virtual mode. Ministry of Culture is to complete reprinting of hundred sets of sacred Mongolian kanjur by next year to distribute in the main Buddhist center in Mongolia. Moving on next, which state has launched the wellness program Ayush Ghar Dwar for COVID nineteen patients? Options are. A Uttarakhand, B Himachal Pradesh, C Madhya Pradesh, and D Uttar Pradesh. And the correct answer is option B Himachal Pradesh. In Himachal Pradesh, Ayush Department launched a statewide wellness program, Ayush Ghar Dwar, for COVID-19 patients. The initiative aims to provide a holistic healthcare through Ayush. It is expected to reach around 30,000 COVID patients. who are currently on home isolation and hospitalized in institutions
the 14th question for today is where is the headquarters of international telecommunication union located options are a geneva b new york c basel and d paris and the correct answer is option a geneva the international telecommunication union is a specialized agency of the united nations headquarter at geneva switzerland World Telecommunication Day is celebrated annually on 17 May since 1969. On this day, the International Telecommunication Union or ITU was founded and the first international telegraph convention was signed in 1865. The theme of World Telecommunication Day 2021 is accelerating digital transformation in challenging times. The next question for today is Dr Quinn who is sometimes seen in the news is the prime minister of which country options are a Maldives b Mali c Mauritius or d Myanmar and the correct answer is option b Mali after the Mali prime minister Dr Quinn resigned he was immediately reappointed as the prime minister according to the office of the interim president queen was named prime minister after military officers quested the elected president ibrahim bokar keita in august under the threat of international sanctions the military handed power to a caretaker government Let's take a look at the 16th question. Great cicada catching, which was making news recently, is a process occurring in which country? Options are A. China, B. USA, C. UAE, and D. Brazil. And the correct answer is option B. USA. Broad X, or the Great Eastern Broad, is the group of cicadas. that spread over the eastern usa a cicada is an insect in the order hemiptera true bugs they are like smaller jumping bugs such as leaf hoppers and frog hoppers during the 17 year life cycle for the hordes of bugs different broods emerge at different times brudex otherwise known as the great cicada Hatching of 2021 is expected to occur in the last week of May and the first week of June in the USA. Now let's move on to the next question. What is the objective of Vande Tripura, a recent initiative of the state of Tripura? Options are a COVID awareness, b teleeducation, c tourism. revival and the support to farmers and the correct answer is option b tele education tripura recently launched one day tripura a 24 into 7 dedicated educational channel to offer lessons on the school syllabus the channel initially has started with recorded lessons it would shift to live classes discussions on different academic topics various informations relating to the education department from june 1 the 18 question for today is what is the new big five project which is in news recently options are a metro rail project option b wildlife photography project option c vaccination project option d satellite project and the correct answer is option b wildlife photography project the new big 5 project is an international initiative involving more than 250 photographers conservationists and wildlife charities across the globe to photograph five animals the project aims to frame these five animals across the world instead of watching it 
These animals are elephant, polar bear, gorilla, tiger, and lion. Two animals from the Kaziranga National Park have made it into the list, but the legendary one horn rhino is out of the list. So, coming up next, Dash Ministry on the recommendation of the Dash Ministry released rupees 8923.8 crore to 25 states for providing grant to rural local bodies options are a panchayati raj and finance option b finance and panchayati raj option c home affairs and rural development and option d finance and rural development and the correct answer is option b finance and panchayati raj the Union Finance Ministry, on the recommendation of the Panchayati Raj Ministry, released rupees 8,923.8 crore to 25 states for providing grant to rural local bodies. The Department of Expenditure, Ministry of Finance, released the first installment of the basic grants. It may be utilized, among other things, for various preventions and mitigation measures needed to combat the COVID pandemic. Well guys, that brings us to the last question for today's session. Lamada language model for dialogue applications is an AI driven technique being introduced by which company? Options are A. Microsoft, B. Amazon, C. Google and D. Apple. And the correct answer is option C, Google. Google has recently introduced its last AI-driven technique that will allow people to have conversations on various topics, open-endedly named as Lamada, language model for dialogue applications. It is a machine learning technique that enables a conversational interaction between itself and users. This is said to be the next step to cat walks, which are limited to prefixed responses. Thank you guys for watching this video. That's all for today. If you like our content, support us, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates from the back benches. Stay safe, wear mask and take vaccine as soon as possible. Thank you guys, take care.